I am thy dungeon master, and today we return to the game of advanced Dungeons and Dragons. We will now enter into a land of sword and sorcery, of maidens and monsters, of orcs and buggery. Yes, today we enter the realm of Kryn. More specifically, advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Heroes of the Lands. Dragonlance, great story. Shit. Game. This is one of the most broken, ill-conceived, ass games ever made. And God help you if you've never read the books or you don't have the instructions, because you will have no freaking clue what to do or who these people are. I mean, look at these pictures. Like, you know if you've read the books who these are, but otherwise, it's just showing you things. Like, who are these guys? You don't know. And this is the only bit of story you're ever given this entire game. Prepare to enter Zach Saroth. What are you doing? You don't know. What Zach Saroth? Well, I guess it's Moria. So, you enter this dungeon, and the entire dungeon is this monochromatic black and white crap fest. You enter this chamber with this huge gorge on your right. I don't know the controls, because they're so broken. You're like, there's there's a jump button, but to jump, you have to be running in the direction you want to jump, and you have to be holding up, then push the jump button to get a running leap. That, see, now I didn't couldn't do that. Now Ryslin, maybe he has a shot. Hey, he float! No, I guess not. I guess what, I got three guys dead, four guys dead. <laughs> I can't jump. A uh, task. I got him to jump, and oh, this is so terrible. I mean. Look at the bottom half of the screen, dominated by a bunch of character portraits you don't give a crap about. And I don't even know why you're able to see all of these guys and their health bars. You're only running one guy at a time. Yeah, no experience points for anybody. F you. So, by the way, the way you get out of there, you just go up through the door. I thought that was the door you just came in. I didn't know you were supposed to go through that. And now, this is what the meat of the game, the combat. Check this out. There's no hit detection. It's totally broken. I just got hit, killed by a rock trap that just wiped out my cleric, but it didn't affect the bad guy at all. There was a, there's a down door. Uh, there's a bag of gold on the ground. I have no idea how to pick it up. I tried. I tried for five minutes to pick it up. This is the most annoying creature in the entire game. This is some kind of draconian, and you'd never know that if you hadn't read the book. But what it does is it lob shit you, which hurts you, and then it backs off so you can't stab it, because to stab it, you have to stop, plant your feet, then push the button so your sword goes out. You have this really short-range sword, and it's like a 10% chance if you're in range, you'll hit. Come on! Yeah. And when he dies, he explodes, so he hits you again. It's crap. There's no way to dodge that. Any of them. When he throws the things at you, you can't... Now, I don't know where to go. I'm totally stuck. All the rooms look alike because they're the same crappy black and white brick background. The only way you can tell you can go somewhere is if your compass glows. And <laughs> here's another one of these draconian guys. And he just keeps backing up the fucking... But come on! Get over here! Come oh. <laughs> Get over here! I'm gonna fuck you up! You know what? Fuck you. I'm not even gonna fight you. <laughs> Oh, what is this? It looks like a naked, bald dwarf, and he just killed my fight. He killed the wizard! I, I can't hit him! I'm trying to put the sword out there. Come on! I'm stabbing him in the face. He's punching me in the nuts. I can't do anything about it. What the hell? Oh, what is this? I, I'm trying to duck. I can't duck and stab. He's punching me in the nuts. I can't hit him. My fighter's almost dead. Oh! <laughs> you can stab downward. Well, that was freaking great to know. I got two guys down. That bald dwarf just kicked my ass. I'm still trying to figure out where to go. Uh, oh, another one of these draconians. I'm not... I got Tasselhoff Burfoot, the kender, the thief. I can't dodge that. And if, oh, now with that, and a dwarf. This is getting better and better. Screw this game! I can't hit the dwarf. The, even the kender's on the same height as the dwarf, and he just killed me. I have to stab downward with the kender. Now my fighters, I can't stab downward. I'm trying my best. This guy is shooting me in the face. And he's backing off so I can't reach him either. I don't know what to do. I'm down to my last character, the dwarf. A uh, dwarf fight. Naked dwarf and bearded dwarf. This is great. Now, the draconian. This is gonna... This is so bad. Oh. Come on, get over here! 
Move it! Do I get anything for killing these guys? Anything? There's another dwarf! So I'm gonna start over and try to play seriously for once, because there is more to this game. Like, every character has certain special powers and abilities, like the wizard can cast magic that you'll never use, but the most useful one is the cleric, who can raise the dead. She's the only one who can do that with the staff. So that keeps you in the game longer, like you want to be there. But the only problem is, she's the only one who can raise the dead, and they put her in the first position. So she's the first one to die if you don't change it out. So I guess I'm gonna try to cure light wound. Oh! Well, that was friggin' helpful! I mean, look at this! It does nothing! The only way you're gonna get anything done is to use Cure Critical, which goes through your magic way faster. And that still doesn't help with the fact you have no idea what you're supposed to be doing, where you're supposed to be going, and how many charges you're gonna need at the end. So, we're back really trying to get through this game seriously. Still trying to figure out the controls. I mean, look at these backgrounds. This was the best they could do. I've seen old PC games that were released four years ago that looked better than this. It's black and white with three color sprites. I've run into a dwarf now, and I'm totally screwed. So, I'm gonna try to switch to another hero. So I put my fighter up there, so like, okay, my fighter, I can't stab the fucking dwarf. I gotta stab him in the nuts by stabbing downward. And once you figure that, I guess it's not too bad. So, I, I'm lost, I'm trying- is this a door? Ah! <laughs> uh, hear the sound of distant alarm bells. No, I don't. Uh, here's a new enemy. It's a troll, yet another green monster that y you can't hit it. You can just get close to it, jam the sword button, and of course, I die. Now the Kender's up. I can't hit it. I, I'm just wailing, hoping that eventually I might hit... Oh my god. This is just intolerable, and the music never changes. Oh, but the background has added a color. It's added puke green. Where the hell am I? Okay, Tasseloff locates or moves the trap. That's a first, because all the other traps kill me instantly. And the pitfall. I know I'm going to fall down the pitfall, even though I know how to jump. Fuck. Ryslin's going to clear it, and he floats, and he's dead. One hit, he's dead. The most powerful wizard in all of Kryn, dead in one hit? Let's see, uh, Rice and the Archmage gets punked out and killed in one hit. Yeah, that's pretty much right. I can't get over that. The most powerful wizard in all of Kryn, a dwarf boots him in the shins, and he's dead. Now I'm running in another one of these draconians, the ones who keep backing up. Come on! Come on! There's no way to fight- Oh, he just, like, pulls a 1-8 and I got a brick dropped on me! Fuck you! Ah! Oh, now, I've run into a chasm. There's no way I can jump to- I don't know where to go. But they're doors to the north and south. So I'm like, alright, maybe I gotta take the doors one way or the other. But the thing is, it doesn't matter which door I take, because they both go to the same place! I'm totally stuck! None of those potions will help. There's some kind of stick on the ground. It doesn't help. And every time I go, the monster respawns, and it keeps shooting me, and then backing off whenever I try to kill it. There's no way out of here. This entire room is pointless. I can't even go back. I can't find my way back, because there's so many of these monsters that shoot me and run off, and I can't get back to the door I came from. You wanna know how broken this game is? Even if I reach the end, there's a dragon at the end of the game, and if your cleric's dead, you can't win. It's impossible! I've seen five-year-olds playing games like Cowboys and Indians that had better hit detection than this. Screw this game! But you know what? Like, there were so many other games that came out at the same time. Like, the Gold Box games. Those came out before Heroes of the Land. Like, Curse of the Azure Bonds. There were, like, three Dragonlance games. And they were, like, three colors programmed in BASIC. And they, they didn't even have flavor text. They had flavor text that was printed in the instruction book. You had to look it up on an index reference. And those were fucking art compared to this. Like, a side-scroller with naked dwarves in it? And just in case you managed to get past the broken fucking hit detection... They just sprinkled in a bunch of bullshit pitfalls you can't resurrect your heroes out of. Oh, and by the way, the only guy that can resurrect dead heroes, they put her in point. Yeah. Fuck this game, man. Fuck Dragonlance Heroes of the Lance. Fuck it with this Lance.